Right, today we want to introduce to you the new Ocularis plugs. Uh, this is a big change in design from the previous plugs we were using. Uh, one thing that this plug does really well that the other plug did not do at all is it allows the use of looped tubular bands. So we're just going to go through the different ways and different elastics that this plug can uh, work with the Ocularis fork system. So we'll start out with the flat bands. Um, everybody's probably seen how the flat bands work, but of course the, the bands insert from the target side of the slingshot. Bring a little tag end. Now you can adjust this to be anywhere along the, out of the outer side of the fork that you care to, whether it be over the top or through the forks. With a thinner latex flat band, you want to use the ball and the, the plug that uh, pushes the edges of the plug out and makes for a tighter fit. This may not be necessary for thicker bands. All you do, pop the plug in, seat it with your thumb, and then pull on the band as you're pushing in with the plug. That will bring the plug flush with the frame and simply up and over the top or through the forks, however you have it set up. Now we can also use looped tubular bands. With the looped tubular bands, you insert the loops from the shooter side of the frame through the holes, put the plug in, and there's two saddles on either side of the plug. That's where the bands sit. At this point, you simply want to even it up so that there's even uh, length on either side, and then seat the plug from the target side of the frame. That's different from the flat bands. Again, push it all the way in and pull on it. Then you do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Again, with the looped tubular bands, you do want to use a ball in there to press the plug deeper into the, the wall of the fork. And there we are, we're set up to shoot looped tubular bands. All right, we can start, we can go with really small tubing. And uh, we don't have a pouch on here, but I'm going to demonstrate um, regardless. Again, we come in from the target side of the slingshot fork. Line it up where you want it to sit. I'm going to set this one up for a through the forks orientation. Seat the plug, pull on it, and then come around. Now this can be done over the top, through the forks, or somewhere in between. But this is showing uh, one of the smallest, our extra small diameter latex tubing. Holds in there just fine, holds plenty fast. Likewise, you can go up to our larger diameter tubing. Again, insert from the target side of the slingshot. We'll demonstrate this one in an over-the-top configuration. And one thing to pay attention to here is you don't want to put the tube inside of the saddle. You want the tube to lie against the flat part of the um, plug, as shown. And since this is some thicker rubber, we have to push a little harder. As we push in, we pull from the opposite side. Now we're locked in place and we're ready to shoot over the top. Finally, if you want to shoot really heavy double layer flat bands like we've got set up on our sling bow here, this is two layers of 40 thousandths thick uh, medical latex. You don't need to use the ball. Um, there's plenty of tension there to hold it in place. We've got this set up in a through the forks configuration with two layers of 40 thousandths thick medical latex. So with the new Ocularis plugs, you can shoot pretty well any type of latex you'd like whether it be tubular rubber, loop tubes, or flat bands. So check them out. It's a great improvement to an excellent product. Only available at Simple Shot Shooting Sports. Thanks for taking a look.